Hey coders and welcome to episode 2 of our Python technical interview course. In today's episode we're going to be getting started with Python by first downloading it and then running our very first Python script. Alright, so let's get you set up for success. There are two things that we're going to need before we run our very first Python file. The first thing is called an IDE and that is where we will write our code. Now, technically we don't need the IDE, we just need some place to uh, write text in. So, for instance, Microsoft Word will work, Notepad will work, Text Edit will work. However, you'll see that if we actually use an IDE or an integrated development environment such as VS Code, that there's going to be a lot of benefits for doing so, such as syntax highlighting and code completion. So you'll want to download this at code.visualstudio.com. All right, the second thing is Python itself. Now, again, if you recall from the last episode, when you download Python, you're actually downloading the Python interpreter. And when you download it from www.python.org, you're going to be downloading the standard implementation of Python, which is the C Python implementation. So let's go and do those things right now. Let's start off by first downloading our IDE. Again, you're going to need some place to write your code in. And in my opinion, Visual Studio Code is one of the best integrated development environments that you can get. And it's what we're going to be using throughout this course. So if you want to follow along and get it to yourself, you can at this URL code.visualstudio.com. And then you'll need to click on this big blue button uh, that says download. All right, so I already have Visual Studio Code. And when you get it yourself, uh, when you open it up, it will look something like this. So if you see this, then congratulations, you have VS Code uh, installed. All right, so step number two is to download Python. Now, there's actually a good chance you might have Python already installed on your laptop or your desktop. And to do that, we're going to check to see if we have it installed. So I'm going to open a new terminal just like this. And there we go. And this is, again, one of the nice things about VS Code is that you have your own little terminal right here within the code editor. But if you type in Python hyphen capital V and run that, it will show you if you have Python 2 installed. So Python, just as it is, as it is, will first search for Python 2. And it looks like we have Python 2.7.16 installed. But if we want to see if we have Python 3 installed, we can say Python 3-V. Now, if you run this and you get a version that is logged back to you, such as Python 3.10, uh, then you have Python 3 installed. And I think you should be good to go. However, if, you've, if you don't, if you get maybe like an error saying that Python 3 command not found or something like that, then you'll have to download Python 3 which is what I'm going to show you uh, shortly. So uh, yeah, I'm going to run through those steps right now. So if you recall, Python 3.11 was the latest version. So I'm actually going to upgrade my laptop to run Python 3.11. So to do that, we can go to python.org. And if you do that, you should uh, see this web page right here. And you can read more about it, uh, for instance, in the documentations, or you can see this, uh, you can read these quick little blurbs right here. But if, again, if you want to download, it's extremely simple. You just hover over this downloads menu option. And then right here, it says download for Mac OS, which is what I have. And then Python 3.11.2, it looks like the latest version. So I'm going to click on that. And then there it goes. It's going to start downloading. It looks like it has downloaded. So I'll open that package. And then I'm just going to follow the steps through this installer. Okay, and there we go. It looks like now we have Python 3.11 and it has been installed to our applications folder right here. So that is pretty dang cool. So now let's go back into our terminal. And if I write this Python 3 uh, hyphen capital V, it's still going to show me Python 3.10, but that's an easy fix. All we need to do is close our terminal and then reopen a new terminal. And now if I write Python 3, capital V, 
There we go, it has updated and it now is recognizing that our latest version of Python 3 is Python 3.11.2. So it's as simple as that and that's how you uh, download Python. So now let's create our very first Python script. So it's very simple to write Python right in the command line like this. All you need to do is just Python 3 and then hit enter. And there we go, now we have our own uh, Python uh, text editor basically and we can write python right here so if we say print hello world just like that which is valid python code then there we go it's going to print hello world all right i'm going to get out of that because you will almost never be using that you'll most likely actually just be writing python files so um, i'm going to create a new file it's going to be a python file and then I'm just going to uh, write uh, Python in here. So I'm going to say print hello world. And before I run this actually, you can see down here that my interpreter still says uh, 3.10.0, right? Um, so it's still trying to read this code as Python 3.10 code, which I guess is okay because they're not too far off. However, if I wanted my interpreter now to be um, 3.11, first I'm going to say which Python 3, and this is going to show me the path to the Python 3 executable. So I'm going to copy that, and then within VS Code I'm going to do Command Shift P and select interpreter. Then I'm going to paste in the path to Python 3.11, like so, oops, uh, like so. And there we go. So now it says 3.11 and it's reading this code as 3.11. Cool, so I'm going to save that. And we'll just give this um, episode 2.py. We'll do 02 actually. All right, so if we save this now to David, that's fine. I'll hit save. And now we have our uh, Python file saved like so. And if we wanted to run this, we can do it from the command line for sure, uh, or we can just come up here and press this play button. So if I run it, there we go. It looks like it ran this file right here and the output was hello world. So there we go. We have just executed our first Python script. It's extremely simple. All we did was print hello world. Uh, to the console, but that's pretty dang cool that we're now running Python code. So before we end this video, I just want to share uh, a couple more things about the Python language, just so that we can uh, leave off with just a little bit more than the print statement. The first thing I want to share is that Python is extremely sensitive to uh, indentation. So what do I mean by that? This is one characteristic of Python that is very unique uh, to Python itself. Normally in other codes or other coding languages, you can uh, drop a new line and put as many spaces as you want and start writing your next line of codes. So for instance, I could say print hello world again. And in other languages, this would be just fine. But again, in Python, there are some very strict rules that every single line of code within the same logic uh, has to be within the same indentation. So again, we'll cover that a little bit more in a later episode and you'll just get a better feel for it as we go. Don't feel bad if you are a little confused on what that means. But again, just remember at this point at least that indentation is very important uh, in Python and it's strictly enforced. As we can see, we're already getting a red line right here saying that's not allowed. All right, so if I uh, just run this like so, we can see that we have printed hello world twice. Now the last thing that I want to share is how do I write a comment, right? Let's say that I wanted to comment my code with something, but I didn't want it to actually execute as Python code. I could first hit this, um, this hash symbol right here, right? This hashtag symbol. And I could say, this is a comment. So even though this is a comment isn't valid Python code, for instance, if I was to get rid of that, you can see that we're starting to get some errors right here because again, the Python interpreter doesn't like 
this. This is not valid Python code. However, if I just wanted to write it as a comment and have it not execute, then I could do so like this. And again, if I were to run it, there we go. We just have hello world printed twice. Um, we could also write comments at the end of the line. So we could say this is an inline comment and that is perfectly fine. That also will run um, basically anything that is after the hash is going to be considered a uh, Python comment. And then another use case for these comments is let's say that you're writing code, but you don't want to execute it. A quick way of just commenting it out really quickly is to put your cursor anywhere on the line. And then at least for a Mac, you will do command forward slash. And then that will automatically comment it out. Um, and you can comment it in or out and have it execute or not execute uh, as simply as that. So if I were to run this Python file, there we go, it's just running this statement right here in line two. And then I can quickly uncomment it out again and then run it and there we go. Now we have both lines of code uh, running. All right guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. I hope you now have Python installed on your laptop and are ready to go full force into learning the Python language and landing your dream job as a Python developer. If you liked this video, then don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot to me and I'll see you in the very next episode. If you can answer these questions, you have successfully completed this episode and can feel comfortable moving on to the next one. So question number one, where can you go to download the latest version of Python? Number two, what terminal command can you execute to get the current runtime version of Python? Question three, how can you output hello world to your console? Number four, true or false, indentation is important in Python. And number five, how do you write a comment in Python?